Welcome to today's news. The news headline. Four subsidiary removal. See what Bola Hamid Tinobu and labor leaders agreed to do. Once again, you're welcome to today's news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. Please listen to the hand. The news details. Four subsidy removal by the president of Nigeria, Bola Tinobu, has been the issue being discussed among many Nigerians today. Bola Tinobu made announcements during his inaugural speech that false subsidy is no more because there was no provision for false subsidy in the budget. However, after the announcement of false subsidy removal, there has been serious issues as many people have to join long queues to get fuel at a very amount. In some filling stations, one can get fuel as high as 530 Naira to 600 Naira. However, according to reports made available, Bola Tinubu, the president, reportedly met with several of the Labour Party key figures to address gasoline subsidy related issues. The specifics of the discussion between the federal government and organized labor regarding the elimination of false subsidies have come to light. The leadership of the Nigeria Labor Congress NLC, and Trade Union Girl Congress TUC, have been invited to a meeting at the presidential villa in Abuja. According to a previous report from Niger News, the meeting which started on Wednesday at around 4 p.m. ended without a resolution. At the meeting, the group CEO of the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited, Mele Kiari, the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Hemifili, the former governor of Edo State, Adams Oshiomale, and the former Commissioner of Information for Lagos State, Dele Alake, all represented the federal government. Joe Ajairo, National President of the NLC, and Festus Osifo, President of the TUC, attended the conference on behalf of organized labor. The NLC president urged the federal government reverse the fall price in order to revert to the status quo before continuing negotiations with the NLC after a lengthy meeting. It was discovered that Ajairo, who criticized the subsidies removal, has said that the status quo should be restored before any official interaction with the NLC. To protect the workers in Nigeria and propose other options. He claimed that the federal government had rejected the most recent announcement since it had never even discussed palliative measures for Nigerians. According to Ajairo, the union's executives will meet with his members this week possibly to decide the best course of action. Dele Alake characterized the meeting as lively and stated that talks with the labor leaders would continue in a conversation with media after the meeting. He expressed optimism that the parties would come to a fair agreement at their upcoming adjourned meeting. President Tinubu had um, he had meeting with the labor leaders. So um, the the federal government was represented by the federal government was represented by the CEO of um, Nigeria National Petroleum Company (NNPC), the governor of Central Bank, the former governor of Edo State, and the former commissioner of Information for Lagos State. 
So the federal government was represented by those people. Why they had discussion with the organized labor regarding the elimination of fuel subsidies because we can see that the fuel prices have increased from what it was before now they're selling at from 400 to 600 it was even edged that some petrol stations were selling for 1000 in agile legal states so they had this discussion because the country cannot continue like this the increase in price of fuel has also affected the increase in um, the increase in price of fuel has also increased the price of normal commodities in the environment. So it's not even going to work that way. So Tinubu has agreed to have a meeting with those labor um, leaders, but the labor leaders are saying that they has to go back to the previous status quo before they can have any meeting or concluding anything with him. So he said that the NLC president, the Labour president, urged that the federal government should reverse the fall price in order to revert to the status quo before continuing negotiations with the NLC. This was what they came to conclusion after the whole lengthy meeting. The NLC is saying that before they can agree to any meeting or come to any um, conclusion or continue their negotiations, that the federal government should reverse the fall price and take it back to the previous status quo before they can even see anything that they should go back to the previous agreement before anything can even be discussed and now that Tinubu has said it in his inaugural speech that he was going to remove the he was going to remove the fall subsidy which was already removed already I don't think there's any going back but the NLC should also consider that Life is hard for Nigerians and it is not easy to make ends meet. So you cannot just come up with increasing the price of something just like that. So Tinobu should also make an agreement with them and make sure that the price of fuel reduces or go back to its previous price because this price is too high for Nigerians. Do you want to kill them? How much is the minimum wage? Imagine someone going to work every day, spend 1000 to work. The minimum wage is 30000 Then how much? How much fuel? You want to be buying every day to go to work if you are receiving 30,000 naira. It is like it is an impossible thing, it can't continue. These prices cannot continue. Imagine 600 naira buying just one liter of fuel that's a lot. So, what do you think about this news? What do you think about the decision, the conclusion between the federal government and the NLC? Please share your view in the comment section and don't forget to like and share and also click on the subscribe button to subscribe and the bell for more updates. Thank you for listening to the news.